Okay, so on the PS4, if you press the share button that is on your controller one time, then you will get this screen that pops up. So it says share. So if we press on the triangle button here to save the screenshot, it says that the screenshot is saved and it is in the capture gallery. So if we scroll over here to the library here and we go to the capture library, then we can go to all and you can see here is the screenshot that we just took. Now that handles screenshots, but let's now talk a bit about actual video. You initiate it by pressing the share button two times, and there you can see gameplay is currently not being recorded. But if, say, we went into a homebrew app or a game, and now I press the share button two times, you can see now there is the icon that states that it is recording this video. So I'll just go into one folder here. Again, I'm not really trying to show anything. And now I'm just going to press the PlayStation button. And so now I'm just going to press share button two times again. Okay, so now it says the video clip was saved. Again, it is in the capture gallery. Back into the capture gallery, we can see there is the video. And I'm going to go to video clips. And there you go. There is that video that we just recorded. Now, this would obviously come with the audio that was coming from the PlayStation, you know, if you wanted to do that. But there is another way that you can get this content back off of your PlayStation 4. So again, a lot of folks, for the most part, a retail user, they can only press the share button one time right here and then use this kind of share action sheet in order to share this content. But since you're more than likely jailbroken, there is an easier way to get to this content. Let me show you how to do that. So first off, you can access this through FTP, etc. So if you are running Gold Hen, for example, you would obviously just want to make sure that the FTP server is turned on and then to connect to port 2121. Since I'm already just on my machine, I'm just going to show you directly from here. So if you go into PS4 Explorer 2.0 or 1.0, and go into the main root of the folder. And then scroll down here just a little bit. There is a user folder. Once you get to your user folder, you can go to AV content. And then we'll just go into photo. And if you navigate down into this, you can find those photos and you can simply copy them directly off of the machine without using any of those share sheets. So again, here is the other one. And we can tell, obviously, by the date here. So this was 918. So again, there is the photos. And if we go back, and maybe you even wanted a thumbnail, there is the thumbnail that it automatically generated. Here is for the other one. And then finally, we can go to the video, and there is the video that we created. Here is the MP4 file that we just recorded just a second ago. So I really just wanted to show that there is an easier way, especially for folks that has a jailbroken PlayStation 4 in order to get shared video as well as shared screenshots off of your system. Again, all you need to do is enable your FTP and then navigate to the folders that I shared with you. And for the most part, it's just going to be always contained inside of the user slash AV underscore contents. So I hope that tip helped you get just a little bit more out of your PlayStation 4 that's jailbroken with 9.00. And I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out!